Hi there, Mikhailo is here, and this is the Telestron Telescope 70, a small and typical telescope for beginner astronomers. Its aperture is just 70 millimeters, and on Amazon it costs only $90. But how do you think the planets will look through this telescope, like this, or this, or even this? <laughs> okay, actually, actually I'm joking. Pluto is not a planet. But anyway, what do the planets look like through a beginner's telescope? Can we see the same pictures that the Hubble Space Telescope shows us? Today we are going to find out it using this small telescope as an example. But you must remember that the results of your observations are going to be massively different depending on the size and design of your telescope. Ok, let's debunk some myths about the telescope observations, will be very interesting. Let's start in order with the smallest planet in the solar system, Mercury. Mercury is one of the most challenging planets to observe, because it is always situated very close to the Sun. Therefore, if you succeed to find Mercury, you are an awesome person. Through a small telescope you will be able to see only an orange bright dot. That's Mercury, guys. Reality is cruel. At higher magnification you can try to see its small face, but nothing more. Let's move on. The next planet is Venus. Almost always it appears in the sky just after sunset or before sunrise. As one of the brightest objects in the sky, Venus is very easy to find. Sometimes people even confuse Venus with a OFO because of its brightness. Through a small telescope it will look like a tiny moon. You will see its phases and as it orbits the sun the phases will change. In comparison with other planets, Venus will look quite large through a telescope. But here the Venus advantages end. Due to its dense atmosphere it is impossible to see any surface details. Just clouds, clouds and more clouds. I just wanted to see the Nazi base from Wolfenstein universe. And the next planet is Earth. Mmm, nice view. But actually I am joking, let's continue the video. Now guess the next planet, I will give you a hint. Elon Musk wants it. You are right, it's Mars. Most of the time Mars looks like this through a telescope, a hopeless small red dot. But every two years happens an event known as opposition. At this time Mars is in the closest approach to the Earth. In the sky it will look like a very bright red star. Through a small telescope you will be able to see a bright circle and, if you are a lucky one, polar caps and dark markings. By the way, the next Mars opposition will occur on the 13th of October 2020, so you still have time to enjoy the beautiful views of Mars. Also, every 15 or 17 years happens the Great Opposition, that is like regular opposition but much cooler. At this time Mars is even closer to Earth and looks larger and brighter. Let's go further and the next planet is literally the best for telescope observations. Meet Jupiter. It is the brightest object in the sky after the Moon and Venus. Through a small telescope you will be able to see a small circle with four dots near it. These dots are Jupiter moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. With time you can notice how they spin around Jupiter, going behind or in front of it. Also, it is not hard to spot these two brown atmospheric belts, northern and southern. And if you will be fortunate, then you can try to see the great red spot. It will look like a small orange circle on Jupiter. Interesting fact, this red spot is roughly the same size as Earth. So if you someday will look at Earth from Jupiter through a small telescope, why not? It will seem like this. I think I can see my house and some angry flat earthers. The next planet we can call the most beautiful after the Earth, and now I'm talking about the gas giant Saturn. Saturn is the most distant of the five planets visible to the naked eye from Earth. 
Therefore, it is quite dim. The best time for Saturn observation and actually for every planet in the solar system is opposition. Through a small telescope you will be able to see its gorgeous rings and probably Cassini division. The Cassini division is a region that separates Saturn rings. Actually Saturn has 7 rings, but through a small telescope we can see only 2, rings A and B. Also you can try to see its biggest atmospheric belt. What is the most interesting? Saturn has an enormous moon, Titan. It is big enough to see through a telescope and it will look like a tiny orange dot. By the way, with time the inclination of the Saturn rings also changes. So every 15 years the rings briefly disappear from you because they are so thin. And now guess the name of the next planet. You're right, it's Uranus. Uranus is very far away, so it is not even visible in the sky. Everything you will be able to see through a small telescope is this. Tiny blue dot with no hope. Interesting fact about Uranus. No f*** that. Ok, the last planet is even harder to find. Meet Neptune, the farthest known planet from the Sun in the solar system. Like Uranus, it was visited only by one probe, Voyager 2 in 1989. No life, no hope, and through a small telescope you will see only dim dark blue dot. That's everything, even no secret alien bases. Anyway, what's the purpose of this video? Show you that telescope observations are a waste of time? Actually no. These dim images of planets look hopeless, but they cannot be compared with the reality. The feelings that you will get during the real telescope observations you will never forget. And I guarantee you that with a 95% probability you will be delighted with astronomy. Anyway, you are a great person, because you are trying to learn something new and of course because you are watching very interesting videos. Thank you for that and bye.